why successful men don't always get the one they want. So if you're a successful guy watching this video or you're a guy who's planning on becoming successful, I'm gonna talk about all the main reasons why successful men don't get the girl they want, okay? Because I coach a lot of successful guys. I'm talking guys who are making eight figures a year. These are men that you'd think they would have no problem getting women and yet they still have issues. So we're gonna get right into the main reasons right now okay the first reason is that these men usually have no problem getting dates but usually getting dates with the women that they actually want can be a big challenge for them okay this is even guys who like i said that are making the eight figures but also guys that are making you know a good six figures a year all right these are guys who get dates they're successful they might even be good looking as well too but they don't get dates with the women they want. And then when they do get dates with the women that they actually want, they don't go the way that they want them to. So I find that a lot of guys will have no problem going out with women that they're kind of like, eh, you know, she's okay, I guess. But when it's someone they actually get excited about, they're like, this is great. Like, I'm super into her. I'm excited. They come away from the date feeling good. And then suddenly the text messages start getting less and less. Or they get that text message saying that the other person wasn't feeling it, okay? So it can be very frustrating feeling like you have all of these options that you don't care about, but the ones that you want, you know, they're hard to come by. And when you do go out with them, it doesn't go the way that you want it to. The second thing that I find is that these guys, although they have a lot of options, they don't have a lot of time to be sifting through all these options and finding the ones that they actually want. So if you're a guy and you're working long hours to be successful, you probably don't have all the time in the world to be going on a bunch of dates every single week or to be meeting tons of people every single week or to be going to social events or doing this, that, and the other. You're working 60 to 80 hours a week maybe, okay? I work 60 to 80 hours a week and I know how challenging it can be to actually make time for that sort of stuff. The third thing is that in addition to their time constraints, they have high expectations, okay? If you're a guy who's successful, your expectations for your partner are gonna be higher than someone who's not super successful, okay? Someone who's not super successful is gonna be happy with a lot more people than the guy who is super successful. They made it to the top, they've worked really hard to get there, and now they expect their woman to be an amazing person for them. And if they don't get that person, they're usually dissatisfied with it, they're questioning it, and it's not that fun for them, okay? So like their high expectations narrows the amount of people, narrows the population of women that are available for them to date. Maybe they have criteria about looks, maybe they got criteria about intelligence or caring. These things make it difficult for them to find a partner that is truly gonna actually make them happy. The fourth thing is a lack of social network. If you're a successful guy, I can't make any guarantees, but probably, probably you are a guy who is introverted, who spends a lot of time indoors, crafting your thing, work, growing your business, doing whatever it is your job is. Those things prevent you from making a lot of close friends, which people usually get from going out and doing fun things. You don't have as much time to do those fun things, to be partying and doing all of this stuff. You focused on your business, and as a result, your social network is much lower and less than it is for a guy who's not, okay? I coach a lot of very successful people out there. I know most successful people that I meet, most of them are introverts. Occasionally you'll get someone who's extroverted, but most of them spend a lot of time at home, they don't have a lot of friends, and as a result, that area that they could be meeting women through, which is a big way that people meet their future partner, or a big way that they get introduced to women, it's just not there. Number five reason why they're not meeting their dream woman or the girl that they really want is because they have poor social skills. Now, this is something that a lot of people will be watching this and thinking, hey, Lloyd, you're wrong, I have great social skills. What I've found, not all of them, but a lot of really successful guys tend to overestimate how good their social skills are. Their social skills work for their niche. Maybe they're a, an experienced software engineer or something like that. And because people respect their work so much, they are willing to deal with their lack of personality or lack of sociability or lack of being able to read social clues. Those things, if you're a successful guy, you can often get away with not knowing too well because if people want to do business with you or if people like, you know, are in a lower position than you in the company, they're going to put up with those things. But when someone's on a date with you, they are not going to put up with those things. And so a lot of times these guys can come off as, you know, arrogant, you know, abrasive or, you know, maybe just like a poor personality or they can't read the other person person if they're not having a good time, those things become much more apparent. And I see that happen a lot more with guys who are very successful, who are having their nose to the grindstone, 
doing work all the time. Even guys sometimes in business who deal with people a lot, they can sometimes have issues with this too. Number six is because they have trouble meeting the kinds of women that they wanna meet, they tend to lead with money. So let's say you're a really successful guy and you put your nose to the grindstone in your 20s, you didn't go out a lot, you didn't talk to a lot of people, you know, you didn't have a whole lot of dating experience and now you're really successful and now you really wanna date gorgeous women and you've never done that before, okay? You don't know any of them, so you don't know how to impress them. But the thing that you do have is you have money. So a lot of times people flip to what's comfortable for them and they start using money to date women. Maybe they take them on an extravagant date. Maybe they buy expensive things to show off to them. Now what this is gonna do is gonna attract women, but it's gonna attract women who are in to the money. They're not gonna be into your character. They're not gonna be into you for your personality or who you are. They're gonna be into you for the money because that's what you're leading with, okay? And a lot of times these women, if they're looking for a guy with money, they will lead with their looks. So when you get caught in this position, you tend to attract a lot of the wrong kinds of women because you haven't worked on the other things. If you've built up the skills to deal with women, to get high quality women without the money, then once you get the money, it gets even better, okay? It's like, you know, opening a door, but you're able to still pick good ones. When you don't, when you haven't done that, it's very difficult to. And the last thing that I've noticed successful men can deal with is even if they have a lot of this other stuff figured out, they are still very intimidating for a lot of women, okay? There are a lot of guys out there that might be watching this video and saying, hey, Lloyd, look, I don't have that high of expectations. You know, I'm just looking for a nice girl who I'm attracted to. And maybe they find a nice girl they're attracted to, but the woman who isn't as accomplished as them, who hasn't achieved as much as they have in their life, they feel really intimidated by it and they feel unworthy. And so they might even reject that person that they're going out with when seemingly the guy's like, well, I, I don't understand. Like, I'm such a great match for this person. Like, I'm clearly someone who like is above their mate value, why would they turn me down? Well, they turn you down because they don't feel worthy of it, okay? And that can be pretty debilitating too. You know what, they're honestly probably right to do that because in the end, you may get bored of them or if you realize you can do better, you might leave and to keep you around, they're gonna feel like they have to do a lot of work. So that can be another thing is intimidation too. So those are the main reasons why I see successful guys having problems, okay? They can get dates, like I said, but when it comes to keeping the ones that they truly want, they have a lot of trouble because of all the things that I mentioned, you know, time constraints, not meeting the kinds of women that they want to meet, you know, being someone with a low social network, all of those are going to be things that are going to prevent them from reaching. So what should you do if you are a successful guy watching this video? Okay, what do I recommend that they do? The number one thing that I recommend to start doing, which a lot of successful guys don't do, is they don't make this a priority. So you should make it a priority. If you're a successful guy watching this, think about the most expensive thing you're ever gonna get in your life. It's not a car, it's not a house, it's not a business, it is a wife. Your wife could potentially be the most expensive thing and the biggest expensive loss that you have in your own life. If you divorce this person, she can take half of all your stuff. Even if you sign a prenup, even if you get all that done, the amount of time and energy and emotional damage that you're gonna sustain from doing this is incalculable. You should absolutely take this seriously. Even if you're not trying to find your wife right now and you're just trying to have fun, you should still take this aspect of your life very, very seriously because being single and being around women, that'll drain you as well too if you're not uh, equipped to deal with this sort of stuff. You don't have the skills for it. So the number one thing is to make it a priority, okay? Actually put time into this. If you can make time for it, do it. I know a lot of guys are watching this. I have no time for it. Yes, you do. If you can make time for an important meeting, you can make time for a woman or women in your life. That's the first thing. Make it a priority. Now, I understand. You may not have all the time in the world. So number two is gonna be learn how to be smart with your time when you dedicate it to this, okay? For instance, I see a lot of guys who go on a bunch of dates during the week. They just fill up all their free time with dates. That's not what I would recommend. I would recommend dedicating some time to doing the things that you like doing, but also being able to meet the women that you like. For instance, most guys, when they're successful, they make time for the gym, okay? They make time for their health. If you can make time for the gym, three times a week, use that one hour block you have instead of just putting your headphones in and going to work out, join a gym that's nice and join a hit class or a group fitness class that contains the kind of people that you'd like to meet. A lot of guys I know have met their future partner, have met girls that they've dated, through these kinds of areas, okay? But you're, you're literally not adding any extra time 
into your day by doing this. You're just joining a class instead of working out with your weights, with your headphones in, okay? It's a small adjustment, but doesn't add any extra minutes to your day, and you're getting FaceTime with the woman that you want. Number four, if you're a successful guy, you also gotta be strategic about the places that you go to. Being strategic means you go to places that actually have the kind of people that you wanna interact with. A lot of times what I'll notice is that um, guys will go to like a bar or something like that, or they'll go to like just a general like club, I would not recommend that if you're a successful guy. Like I said, you might be, if you want to just like hook up and you get bottle service and all that, you know, I can teach you that game, you know, but if you're looking for someone who's gonna be like a better fit for you, like that kind of area is gonna attract women who are into the hookups, into the status, that sort of stuff. But what you also wanna do is you also wanna join areas that are gonna have a higher, like, return on your investment. So this could be different events that you go to. Finding an event, like, you know, I had a client right now who's, uh, he owns his own dental practice. He, there's a convention that they do every single year where like a lot of the younger people who are coming up through uh, dentistry, they go. There's so many attractive women that go through there. They only have that event like once or twice a year but he makes sure that he goes every single year and he usually gets four or five numbers of extremely attractive women that he can date. Go to those things where you're gonna be seen as a very attractive guy and you're gonna be able to meet people much easier than you would be at just some random club. And you know the women that go there, you know, they're gonna be the kinds of women who are gonna get along with you. So be strategic and tactical about the place that you go. Most guys have no idea where to meet women. So that's a big part of my program is I help guys out with this. And the last thing, don't be scared to use resources at your disposal to help out with this. A lot of times successful guys, if they wanna get good at something, they know hiring somebody can help. And look, it doesn't have to be me, but think about this. If you're a guy who wants to get his fitness on point, should you hire a personal trainer? Or should you spend hours online reading the kind of nutrition that you should get, crafting a personalized workout for your body and what your goals are? No, that's gonna take way too long. You know, as a successful guy, your, your time is much better spent doing the things that are actually gonna make you successful and make you money. So leave that up to a professional who spent years doing this. That's what hiring a personal trainer is. And if it costs a few thousand dollars a month, which by the way, some personal trainers can definitely go for, a lot of them go for, it's worth it to save you that time. Me, myself, anything that I wanna get good at, I hire coaches to do. Yes, I've hired personal trainers, jujitsu coaches, business coaches, productivity coaches. I even have a therapist and like, you know, a, a mindfulness coach as well too. Anything that I wanted to improve upon, I hired a professional to help me out. There's a reason why Tiger Woods is a golfing coach. It's not because the golfing coach is better than him at golfing, it's because it's somebody that's gonna reduce the amount of time and help him learn quicker. Any guy who wants to improve in this should have a coach in the areas that they wanna get good at. And yes, I myself, as a guy who talks about dating, I've hired dating coaches in the past. I am not scared to know that I can learn and I can learn from somebody else who's been doing this for longer. So that's what I would recommend for you. If you don't know where to go and you don't know what to do as a successful guy, then hiring somebody can make your life a thousand times easier to help you out with this. It's like hiring a COO, but like, you know, for your dating life. And if you wanna get coached by me, guys, click the link at getcoachedbylloyd.com. Fill out the form, and if you're a great fit, I'll hop on a call with you, or a member of my team will hop on a call with you. But, you guys, the main point of this video is that just because you are successful doesn't mean your dating problems should end. I know there's gonna be a lot of guys out there that are thinking, you know what, I'm just gonna put my nose to the grindstone, and I'm gonna work, 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 then I'm gonna get successful in my mid-30s, and then all of the women are just gonna rush to me. And that's what's gonna be like the, my life. And it's gonna be amazing. You really, I, should, I, I can't emphasize this enough. If you wait and don't learn the skills, by the time you're 35, you will regret it. There are plenty of 35 year old guys who have done that who are watching this video, okay? And if you, by the way, if you are one of these guys, yes, you could have made progress back then, but that doesn't mean you can't be successful now. You absolutely can. But if you're in your 20s and you're trying to be one of those guys who are gonna be successful, okay? Don't think that just by completely eliminating all social interaction, swearing off your dating life, what I've noticed is that most guys do this as a coping mechanism. Because getting rejected sucks. You know, going out there and making attempts, it's not fun. But if you're a guy who sticks with it, and you're a guy who does the things, by the time you do hit 35, or by the time you do become successful, whether it's 35, 45, 55, 65, you will have not only an amazing, successful life financially, but an amazing, successful life 
relationally too. And when it comes to the quality of your life, it is absolutely determined by the quality of your relationships. It's not fun making a bunch of money and having no friends and anyone to celebrate it with, okay? So you should absolutely make sure that you get this down too. Learn them both, you absolutely can. I work 60 to 80 hours a week and I still find time to be social, to throw events, to make friends, to make time for my girlfriend, to meet other people. If I was single, I'd be using that time to go out and meet other women. That's the kind of thing that you guys got to understand is it absolutely is possible to do both. And as a human being and as a man, you are going to feel the need to do this anyway. So you might as well make it work. Anyway, thanks for watching you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. If you wanna reach out to me for coaching, like I said, link is down below. Get coachedbyloyd.com. Good luck out there.